this video I'm going to show you guys how to paint the back bumper of a 99 to 06 Sierra or Silverado. First you're going to start by taking out these lights, burning lights. Unfortunately my clips broke so that one just comes right off and then this one comes right off. Once you get it off just twist this and the ball will come out. Show it in there and then we'll take the license plate off and I'll show you what to do next. Got the two bolts that hold on my license plate. I only have two bolts on the top. So we will put that up there. And now what you're gonna do is just clean the bumper off and make sure there's no dirt on it because then that will ruin the paint job. Now that we've cleaned the bumper off, we're gonna take some 220 grit sandpaper or whatever you have that's closest enough to it and we're going to start sanding it down. I do recommend taping it off with newspaper if you're not careful because you can scratch this plastic but I think I can be careful enough to uh, where I don't need to tape it off. Finish sanding here. What I did was I took out a piece and then I folded it up for little places like this to get in. So as you see, it's pretty scratched up, but not too bad. This will just help the uh, paint stick a little better. So I'm gonna go tape this up so I don't get any black spray paint or primer on these pieces. And then we will continue on. So now how I like to mask things is I first take a piece of tape and try to get as close to the edge as I can. And then after that, I take newspaper and then tape it over so then there's no overspray on anything we don't want to spray. So I'm going to tape it up and then put the newspaper and we'll go to putting on the primer. Okay, we have finished masking. So now what I'm going to do is just simply grab gray primer, shake it up, and then I'm going to spray probably about two or three coats on the bumper. So of course you're always going to want to start off with a light coat. As you see, I haven't got everything. So you start off with a light coat and then do about two or three more coats and put the last one on pretty heavy so there's a lot to stick to for the black paint after this primer and yeah we have finished putting on the primer so now we're gonna shake up this black I got rust-oleum the high-performance enamel so shake it up do the same thing do a light coat of black let it dry do another coat and then however many you want past there. Of course, between coats, let it dry for three minutes or so, three to five, and then it should turn out looking great. I just painted right over this cover too, just cause I don't know how to take it off, don't really want to, so I'm already spraying it black anyway, so I think it'll work out. But yeah, shake this up, and then I'll show you how the black looks after one coat. That's after one coat, so we will let it dry for probably five minutes, and then I'll do probably two to three more, and basically they'll be done for the painting portion, then we just gotta take everything off, put the pieces back in, and yeah. So now I've pretty much finished, and this is how it's looking. So I'm gonna put probably one more coat on and then take the uh, newspaper and tape off. So I ended up using more coats than I thought. I put about four to five on. So that's about how much I used. I like how it turned out. So we'll see how it looks when I take the tape off and the newspaper. So that's it. This is how it turned out. This is after about five coats. 
and I'd say makes it look better. So that is to end the video out, you're simply going to take out the bulb, stick it through, put this clip back on, and unfortunately I broke it. So I'm just gonna take some super glue, go around the edge, press it on, and it should be fine. So I'll show you once I get these two pieces on and then you're done. Okay, the back is done. So now I'm gonna do the front. It's the same exact process. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of speed it up, not really go in depth with it. And I'll show you guys the major steps. Okay, we finished masking. And a good tip that I had, that I found out, was if you take some type of knife, this is like a putty knife, and you stick it in the crack, so then you can get the tape all the way in, so you don't risk painting the actual stuff that you don't want to. So yeah, we're done masking, and now we're gonna sand it down. All right, it's all sanded down. And as you see, this was with 80 grit sandpaper, and I think it turned out just fine so we are going to start priming do probably two or three coats and then we'll start putting the black on all right we're shaking up the can getting ready for the second coat soon but that's how it should pretty much look for the first coat you don't want to put it on too thick you just want to kind of mist it we have finished priming and this is about three coats so that's how it turned out it's looking super smooth. So we're gonna apply a really light coat of black and then wait about an hour and then keep on doing coats. All right, this is the outcome of the first coat of black. As you see, it's just light. The primer's still gonna be sticking out, but that's the first coat. So I'm gonna let this dry for half an hour because it's sunny out, the sunnier it is, the less time you can wait before the coats. So there's the first coat. And I will show you once it's all done. So now this is about six plus months after I painted both the rear and the front of my truck here. Um, I kind of want to show you guys how it turned out. I have not had to paint these at all. And this is how they still look. This back is pretty good. There's a little bit of chips on the top over here, as you see, but that's pretty much all that's happened to the back. And then for the front, it has fared even better. I'm very surprised even with, you know, I live in Florida and even with a lot of rain, the paint does not chip away. So you see there's just a tad, a little bit of stuff, but pretty much, it is uh, holding up really well, so...